geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Sea stacks. What is a stack? A stack is a tall column of rock formed when an arch collapses alongside a coastal headland. But what is an arch? This is not an arch. This is an arch, an upward arcing hole through something. Here is a large arch in the Deerholai Peninsula in southern Iceland. This area showing various sized arches in the cliffs of the peninsula and the offshore islands. Arches form after a cave is formed in a headland. Imagine a coast where the sea meets the land. The area seaward of the red line sticks out into the sea. This is the headland. Within this headland is where we often get caves forming. What is a cave? Caves are natural voids in the ground, big enough for a human to enter them. How do caves form? Let's look at our headland from the side. It is made of white rock. When we examine the cliff more closely, we see it is composed of strata, parallel layers of differing thickness beds of rock, these all having been subjected to forces, resulting in a fault running through the headland. When we view the headland from above, we can clearly see how the headland juts out into the sea from the land, the fault being exposed in the cliff faces on either side of the headland. Over time, the processes of weathering and erosion attack the cliff face, especially the erosive power of the sea and the waves, attacking the area where the weaker rocks in the fault zone meet the sea. The sea acting like many geological hammers, all continually attacking and breaking the cliff face. Viewed from above, where the fault meets the sea, is where the erosive hammers focus their attack. Eventually, a small cave forms where the lower fault zone has been eroded away, forming caves on both sides of the headland. Over time, erosive forces continue to attack the cliff face, so enlarging the caves, making the caves taller, wider and deeper. This continues until eventually the caves are so deep that they meet up, the sea then being able to wash through, so enabling movement through the inside of the actual headland itself, this having formed an arch. This beautiful arch is called Durdle Door, located in southern England, and was formed by these processes. The rock that forms the actual archway is itself very heavy, so adds extra stresses to the rocks at the sides of the arch. The force of the waves, combined with the force of gravity pulling the arch downwards, results in the ceiling of rock collapsing into the sea, with the end result being that the archway completely collapses, leaving a pillar of rock lying separate from the now shorter headland, this pillar of rock being called a stack. The eroding waves continue their onslaught of the cliffs, forming wave-cut notches which, over time, force the cliff to retreat further landward, but also the base of the stack to narrow, with the upper sections falling into the sea until, in the end, the whole stack topples into the sea, gone forever, leaving only a stump as a reminder of where the stack once stood. Wow! In summary, the process starts with the headland. This weathered and eroded over time, resulting in caves forming, these then growing and merging together to form an arch, which then collapses to form a stack, and consequently, a stump. Headland to stump. That's amazing! Let's look at a great example to demonstrate all of this, in an area called Stodland, in southern England, in northwest Europe. Here we can see a headland made of a soft variety of limestone called chalk, jutting outwards into the sea. A few islands located just offshore at the tip of the headland, these islands known locally as Old Harry Rocks. Viewed from the northeast, we can see Old Harry as the largest seaward stack and Harry's wife, this the relic stump of a former large stack. Viewed from various angles, we can clearly see how the land forms and dramatic cliff line has formed, firstly with the chalk headland, this having caves forming in it, these then joining to form arches, the archways then collapsing to leave stacks, these stacks then being eroded away, leaving stumps. Close up, we can see how structural features such as forts, have been more eroded by the sea than the stronger surrounding rock, with arches following the trace of the fault. Near horizontal layers of chalk have collapsed due to gravity, so raising the height of the archways. In summary, coastal sea stacks are incredibly dramatic landforms, formed around many of our coasts around the world, 
as these images show, all formed by the same sets of processes, but all unique in relation to their location, their geology and their age. To find out more about caves, please do watch our Geology in a Jiffy film about caves. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!